Morning everybody. We are doing a bit of creek fishing today and I'm pretty excited about it. Our water levels are finally rendering this creek fishable. It's lightly stained. It's about 50 degrees out with a slight overcast and we're going to put a few hours in here. It's looking to get a bit warmer later and we will be joined by a buddy. But for now it's just me. Let's try to catch some fish guys. We're starting out with this six cents divine swim bait on a quarter ounce jig head. Now this is a 2.7 inch swim bait, nice and bite size, and it's a uh, translucent color. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I uh, had a couple different colors. I threw them together in a little sandwich bag because those clamshells can be kind of a pain when you're constantly losing baits and having to pop them open and grab them out, that sort of thing. I did look through my I guess I'll call it my virtual log, my Instagram. I do love Instagram because I can look back and see what fish I was catching this time of year. So, wow, massive blow up. Now I think that was probably a carp. If it was a bass, it's absolutely gigantic. We'll throw one over there for good measure. How neat would that be? Anyhow, I did look through my uh, Instagram and I saw that I was catching some nice smallmouth about this time of year. I did pick a medium light to throw this on, almost on the heavier side for working this bait with the BFS reel just because I know the water is still a bit high and I'm going to have to get back there to really pick these fish off. There we go. And that is a great sign. Small little white bass. So these are just all throughout our river systems here. I've been catching a lot of them. I kind of came here to somewhat avoid these fish. You can see how dark this one is. Uh, I think it's due to the water clarity, getting, getting a little more sun in this area. But we know something's biting. Now we do have a road up there. It looks like it's the uh, morning work rush right now for people who work standard hours. So. Good fish. Okay. Uh, this is a white. It's a big one. I'm kind of fighting like one right now, but. Oh no. There we go. How about that? Exciting. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like I got you pretty good there, buddy. Let me undo this. May need some pliers for this guy. All right, there we go, my friends. Beautiful red horse. I believe it doesn't have that red tail, but uh, it looks exactly like him. It's a uh, some form of sucker fish. I think it's a red horse and a fat one at that. Beautiful fish. We'll get her back in. We'll keep going. That's two fish within five minutes, maybe four casts. I'm super stoked, guys. Little paddle tail for the win. I did bring a four inch grub. We'll chuck around too. Oh, thank you very much, buddy. Off she goes. Awesome. We'll just keep these bad boys handy. This might be a good morning.
Now I have fished this creek quite often on the channel. I live about maybe eight minutes away from here. It's nice for me. It's also one of the most beautiful places with one of the most diverse uh, groups of species I've ever fished. Now I call it a creek because we do have a little creek branching out throughout here, but this is technically the Red River, the one that runs through Tennessee and Kentucky, not the uh, Texas Red River. And it's, it's a very interesting place. It's sacred. A trail of tears runs right through here. We're actually, path is right up there. <clears throat> and kind of can be spooky sometimes so not too far away was the bell witch situation i don't know if you guys are familiar with that haunting i guess it is it was right off on this river and not too far away in uh, tennessee if you do like that kind of spooky stuff and you you haven't heard of it it's it's worth looking up checking out the chances are if that's one of your hobbies you probably already have heard of it Maybe we'll we'll do a Halloween episode and I'll tell you all the story. Come come this October. Oh, that's a fish. That's a nice fish, guys. Oh, man, we only got six pound on. Look at the size of that bass. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. That is a hog. Come on now. Come on now. Epic fight, epic fight. Oh, we got him in the shallows. Tell me I got batteries in that scale. Oh, Smalley! Dude, that, that might be my PB smallmouth right there, guys. Dude, I think it might be my new PB, I don't know, man. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Lord, guys. Look at the size of that small mouth. All right, everybody, look at this fish. Look at that smallie. Dear Lord, it's a tank. Absolutely gorgeous. Jumping like crazy, man. Swallowed up that paddle tail. Definitely the fish of the year so far. I'm gonna get some digits on her real, real quick and get her back in safely. Beautiful fish though, guys, I'm so stoked. Zeros, my friends. Four pounds, 13 ounces, and five eighths. That is the my PB smallmouth for sure. <sighs> PB breaker, man. Four pounds, 13 ounces. All right, everybody. Girl, thank you. Oh. Right between the legs. 
Daymaker, guys. Daymaker. Wish I was recording on this other camera. Ah, uh, my adrenaline is uh, pumping. So stoked I can't believe I just broke my small PV that's the sort of thing I mean if there's one of them there's gonna be more of them nice smallie now oh, we made a new friend out here we're just tearing it up man small mouth oh nice Look pretty big. Whew. Man, this, this creek is just alive today. Feels decent. Big white. That's a chunky white. There we go, y'all. Big white bass. My tripod is busted. That's why we got these terrible angles right now. Pretty one, though. Well, everybody, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I had a great time making it. As always, that smallmouth is absolutely gorgeous. Made my year so far. Best fish of the year. Um, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And get some good fish on, my friends. I got to get heading out of here.